Hello students, today there is a new chapter which we will cover, the reading part only. The chapter name is Little Children Wiser Than Men. Are little children wiser than men? Let's learn about this from this chapter. We all quarrel with our friends while playing. Quarrel means fight. How much time does one take to forget about the quarrel and be friends again? It is true as a friend we fight with our friends and uh, later on we again mingle with them or you can say we again talk to them, we again play with them. This is the same story here. Let's see. It was Easter in Russia. Snow still lay in the courtyard. Courtyard means open place uh, in the middle of a building. Water ran in small streams down the village street and the dirty water formed a large puddle in a lane between two farmhouses. So here this is the time Easter which is a celebration time and uh, it is snow time here. Snow actually uh, fell previously and there is water in the street and uh, after the water rainfall or you can say snow after melting of snow there's a there are small ponds of uh, water this is called puddle two little friends from neighboring houses akulya and malasha me, met after returning from the church so after church they met so one says hello malasha look at my new dress it is yellow it's beautiful, Akulya. I'm also wearing a new purple frock today. Malasha began to splash about in the water. Now here, when these two friends showed their new dresses, because it is Easter time, so they are wearing new dresses. Malasha began to splash water. Splash means, you can say, throw water while playing and make water, you know, jump. Uh, when you play in water or you jump in the water. Akulya stopped Malasha and asked her to take off her shoes and stockings before stepping into the puddle. So stocking means wearing clothing. Malasha was all set to step into the puddle. So after this Malasha was ready. Don't splash water on me. My mother will scold me. Scold means chide, rebuke. If I get new frog dirty, so here friend says that Malasha, you don't uh, spread water on me because my mother will scold me for this. She had hardly said this when Malasha plumped down her foot so hard that the water splashed on to Akulya's frog. So here what happened, while she said it, she actually jumped or you can say uh, splashed water and uh, this actually went on to Akulya's frog. Unfortunately, Akulya's mother was passing by. Passing by means crossing. And she saw her daughter and her dirty clothes. So now this here, Akulya's mother says, You naughty girl, what have you been doing? I didn't do it myself, Malasha did it. So here, Akulya blamed that Malasha did it. You can see here she just mentioned that Malasha did it. After listening to this, Akulya's mother seized Malasha. Seized means grabbed and struck her on her back. Struck means hit. So my mother hit the back of the Akulya's. Malasha began to howl. Howl means cried. Malasha started crying. Malasha's mother came out to see what was wrong. Now at this time, the mother of other girl, Malasha, she also comes out. What are you beating my girl for? You better ask your daughter. Now the two women began to quarrel soon. So this is the fight started from children. Now mothers of the two girls started quarreling. Quarreling means fighting. Soon a crowd collected in the street. Everyone started shouting no one was listening. Akulya's old grandmother came out now on this time. 
uh, mother of uh, grandmother of Agulhas, she came out and tried to pacify both the mothers. Pacify means to come to you know make them calm down because they were fighting. So to make them cool down. She says, "What are you doing? Is it right to behave so on a day like this? Behave means the way they were actually behaving. They were fighting." And day like this means Easter. Easter is the time for rejoicing. Rejoicing means celebration. And not for such folly as this. Folly means this foolishness, the stupidity that you mothers are fighting. Next page. Meanwhile, Akulya quietly went back to the puddle. Now, during this, Akulya, the girl, she went back to the place. She took a chip of wood and began to dig away. Dig away means to hit something in the ground and to remove the uh, earth soil in front of the puddle. So near the puddle she started removing the soil. This created a channel. Channel means a pipeline. Now this created a pipeline and through which the water could run into the street. So water which was in the pond which was in the puddle started moving. Soon, both friends were busy digging the channel with chip of wood. Chip means a piece or a part of wood. So using that, they both removed the water by making a channel. The water from the puddle ran streaming into the street. So what happened after this? In the, the water in the street started moving. Malasha threw the chip of wood into the stream and then Malasha threw that part of wood, chip, outer layer of the wood in the water into that running stream. Stream means that running water. The little girls watched the chip floating. Floating means uh, to be on the surface of the water. Along in their little stream, they clapped. Here they felt very happy because water was moving and uh, the chip was floating actually and cheered with joy. Cheered means they felt ecstatic, they felt happy Catch it, Malasha, catch it. They ran laughing along the stream and forgot their quarrel. So here we see the girls who did not quarrel by the way. They just splashed water uh, and uh, mother came. She started rebuking and the girl took the name of other girl uh, which was uh, Malasha. Now, after this, Oh, the grandmother was standing while both the girls were playing. We are fighting on account of these little girls. Now grandmother showed this playing of these two girls in the street to the mothers. She said, you are fighting on account of these little girls. Look at them. They themselves have forgotten all about it. Means girls have forgotten about it and you still remember it. The mother looked at the girls and felt ashamed. Ashamed means to feel sorry, to cut a sorry figure. Actually, because uh, they were fighting and the girls were not fighting, they had a good relation. They still have good relation after you know that water splashing. Everyone agreed means everyone consented. Little children are indeed wiser than adults. So here, the last lines are actually the name of the chapter that little children are indeed wiser than adults. So here in this story from these two girls Akulya and Malasha one can learn that there's no fighting among children they just fight for a while then they forget and then they again enjoy being together. I hope you have understood it thank you and uh, give your comments and uh, enjoy your day.